I had some issues making this video, so instead of a classic tutorial, you get a speed run tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I made a mesh for this dress. I'll merge this swimsuit with this skirt to get this dress. To participate in this tutorial, you'll need Sims 4 Studio, Blender and a 2D photo editor. Links will be in the description. We're starting with the swimsuit. Swimsuit will be our base. Open Sims 4 Studio. Select Create 3D Mesh. Click CAS. Look for a swimsuit. Select this swimsuit. Click Next. Save that package file. Open Meshes tab. Click Export Mesh. Save your Blender file. Open Swimsuit Mesh in Blender. Now onto the skirt. I'm doing the exact same thing. Open Sims for Studio once again. Make sure Create a 3D Mesh is selected. Click CAS. Look for a skirt. I'm using this one from Get Together. Select the skirt and save the package file. Go to Meshes. Click Export Mesh. Save your Blender file. Open the skirt in Blender. In the corner, figure out which part of the mesh contains the skirt. Click different parts of the mesh to get them to highlight. This one is the skirt. So, number two. Memorize number two in your head. Go back to the swimsuit Blender file. Make sure you're in object mode. Click File and then choose Append. Find the skirt Blender file. Open it. Look for the one that says Object. Open it. Now remember the part of the mesh that I asked you to memorize. It was this one, number two. So double click it. Perfect. Both swimsuit and the skirt contain certain parts of the mesh, such as legs or this crotch area. So now I'm going to delete all doubles. Let's start with legs first. Go to edit mode. Hover over the part you want selected and then press L to select. Do the same thing with another leg. Don't forget the back. Once selected to delete, press X on your keyboard and choose Vertices. Now I'll do the exact same thing for the crotch. To make it easier to see, go to Front View by pressing number 1 on your numpad. To see both through your mesh and to be able to select both front and the back at the same time, down here at the bottom, choose Limit Section to Visible. To select the crotch area, press B on your keyboard. This cross thing appears. Now just right click and drag your mouse over the area you want selected. When selected to delete, press X on your keyboard and choose Vertices. Look for any other possible clippings. I noticed another clipping here. The skirt is on top of the swimsuit and I don't want that. So, while the skirt part is selected, go to the front view by pressing number 1 on your numpad, then press letter B for selecting, click and drag over, let's say this first row. To delete, press X on your keyboard and select vertices. Look for any other possible clippings. If you find any, remove them. I'm satisfied with mine. Now I'm going to merge swimsuit and the skirt together. Click on the swimsuit. Press and hold shift on your keyboard and then click the skirt part. Move your mouse to the model area and click anywhere, really. And then to finally merge them together, press Ctrl and J at the same time. J is for join. Now I'm going to connect vertices from the swimsuit part with the skirt part. Select one vertice by clicking the right button on your mouse. I selected the part of the skirt. Press and hold shift and then right click on the nearest vertice from the swimsuit part. Now both are selected. To merge them, press Alt and M at the same time. M is for merge. Choose at first. These two are now connected. To deselect, press A. 
The ugly truth is that you're going to need to do this with all vertices where the skirt and the swimsuit should be connected. So once again, select by clicking the right button on your mouse, hold shift and right click on another vertice. To merge them, press Alt and M at the same time and then choose at first. To deselect, press A. Repeat for all vertices until finished. Good luck! Two hours later. Select all by pressing A on your keyboard. Here at the bottom, click Mesh, go to Vertices and choose Remove Doubles. You can see right here at the top, 418 vertices were removed. So, I only miss like 418 vertices, which, you know, sounds worse than what it actually is. You're done with your mesh. Go to File and Save. Open Sims 4 Studio and go to your original swimsuit mesh. Go to Meshes and click Import Mesh. Find your new mesh that you just saved and import it. Import your new mesh to all LODs. You're going to need to fix the texture. So go to Textures. Make sure Defuse is selected and then export the texture. Open it in your photo editor. Go back to the Sims 4 Studio, open the skirt and export the skirt's texture as well. Open skirt's texture in a photo editor. Copy the skirt texture and paste it onto a swimsuit. Perfect. Save your texture. In the Sims 4 Studio, where your new mesh is, import your new texture. Don't forget to save your file. You can always play around with recoloring and different textures. This is not a texture tutorial though, so I'll speed it up. I have several recoloring, retexturing tutorials, so if you're interested in details about that part, please check out my CC tutorial playlist. Um, I will link it in the description. If you're planning on uploading your dress or whatever it is that you make online, I think it's worth mentioning that it would be nice to comply with certain EA requirements. The requirement is that if you use any items that were released with DLC, you should note that. And for this dress, I used base game swimsuit, so that's fine. But I also used get together skirt. So what I'll need to do is that I'll need to add get together to this dress. The way that you do it is that you go right here to tools and then modding and then select add DLC pack requirement. Here you can choose which pack you used and I use get together. So I will select that and click OK. It's asking me if I want to set get together as a requirement. So I click yes. And here it just confirms to me that get together was added. So I'll click OK. And that's it. Again, don't forget to click save. Now I'm just going to go to see what it actually looks like in the game. It actually turned out quite all right, considering its tutorial and a speed tutorial at that, I'm actually quite happy with this. If you want me to make more videos like this, like this video, so that way I know what type of content to make. Any questions, suggestions, anything really, is always welcomed in the comments below. If you sticked around till the end, I love you and I really appreciate it and I hope to see you in my next video.